Hi there. I'm going to make a really quick video for you um, for my 22 for 22 challenge. I thought I would make a video on how to find the addresses of your congressman and governor and you know whoever else you want to write to. What I did was I went on to Google and I live in Illinois so I went to, it pops up because I've already been there, but you hit on typing Illinois senators or whatever state you live in, uh, you can do, you know, Missouri uh, governors or Texas legislator, whatever you want to do within your state. And then it'll bring up a bunch of things. I went to this site here, Illinois Senators, Representatives, and Congressional Maps, and it brings up everything. Here are the governors. I can press on here and find the representatives and it gives you a picture of everybody and it shows you if you click on them it'll bring you into his little page but what I found was it's not giving me an address so what I did was once I found my congressman I went um, back to Google and I put in his name like let's say that um, this Bobby Rush is my representative I'm gonna go back and in the search bar, I will write, oh, gee whiz, and I forgot his name. Bobby, what was it, Rush? That might have been it. It's not sad that I forget already. Oh, no, that's not him. <laughs> Isn't that sad? All right, it's early in the morning. Work with me here, people. work with me. Go here. I'll write down the guy's name, right? And he is not my representative, so that's why I don't remember him. I'm, it is Bobby Rush. There we go. Illinois Senator Bobby Rush. Let's try that. Pops it up. Okay. Now see, I'm going to just upload this whole video so you can see how crazy I am. But sometimes it gets a little difficult navigating. All right, so here we go. Uh, this gentleman, you can contact him. when you ooh, And when you contact, you can do email. Let's see if he has an address. Well, his is Washington office. And I did find that my uh, senator had, uh, I think, four or five different addresses. This gentleman here has just two, just these two here. And then there are phone numbers as well that you can call, and then office hours, okay? So it's, it's, it is pretty simple, but sometimes it takes a little bit more time. Um, but that's all you have to do to find who serves you in your, your um, state. So definitely look that up. I also emailed um, my senator. And when you email, it's going to ask you a lot of questions. If you don't want to answer those questions, don't email. You can't. When I went on there, I had to leave um, my full name, my email address. I didn't really want to leave my email address because I don't want all the political paperwork to come my way. But I, I did email, so I'm going to get it. Um, you choose how to get a hold of your person. Do what you can to support your soldiers. Um, that's one thing that I did. Um, you know, I've I've been writing to different uh, offices that these guys have, and like the, he has two. So if he was my representative, I would send it to two different spots. And uh, I'm going to be calling. If we bombard our senators, our governors, they're going to start to wake up and see that we, the people, do have a need and we the people want to do something to change the way our, our uh, soldiers are treated, our veterans are treated. 22 men and women veterans kill themselves due to post-traumatic stress disorder and that is way too many. One is too many. Let's fight for our soldiers. Let's fight for them because they fought for us. Thank you.